All righty. Hello, my name is Nathan. I'm also known as uh, Red Pill Quill. Um, I just like to start with the uh, hello, beautiful souls, and to start by first thanking um, Junk DNA for all of his hard and tedious work to bring us all together and to, um, you know, get all the light workers together on this beautiful solstice day. And, um, you know, our attitude and gratitude determines our latitude. So uh, let's get this started. Um, the Ascension Diet is basically a starter pack for uh, stepping into who you are and consciousness. Um, being that we are the sum of our experiences and beliefs and life is our greatest teacher. Um, I've had so many experiences throughout my life um, culminating to this specific time. Uh, the Well, I want to start by uh, sharing my, uh, well, my background as far as animation and uh, some of the things that I've encountered that brought me to this point. Um, I, as a young child, I was visited by a, my deceased grandfather. Um, I've had multiple situations with uh, violence and, you know, the, the dramatic of uh, being shot at. Uh, and my whole life, I've been the observer and kind of like the reflector as in the previous um, presentation. Um, and um, I just want to start with um, one of the first things that had kind of helped me get through all these situations and the dark night of the soul that I um, came into contact with. Um, I started with faith systems first and mindful meditations. I visited different places of worship and came to the consensus that we are all part of the same um, nature and duality. Um, with pretty much the same core wants and beliefs and needs with just de different deities. Um, from that point forward, um, I went to the path to lower the actual ego. Okay, so ego transformation. For me, it was um, unlearning, uh, un unlearning yourself, basically. Basically breaking my myself down to my core beliefs, erasing everything that was previous, everything that I thought all of my expectations of life, all the things that were holding me back in my life. And um, you have to also, in that process, release the image, the image of who you are. Um, we're, we go outside on a daily basis and we project a certain image. We carry um, thoughts and ideals of ourselves and who we think we are and what we think we are, but we're really just natural beings that are here to experience and be taught by life itself. Um, the second is to reevaluate re your character. Um, that is basically the meaning of, well, it kind of goes with the releasing of your image and, re um, just looking at yourself, looking at your actions, looking at what caused you to be who you are, what brought you to the point of life that you're in and why are you there? Um, releasing the monkey mind is a part of the ego that is very heavy as far as I want to be that and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there um, the, the feelings of, um, regret, the feelings of, um, that should be me, all of the, the shame and the, the doubt, the self-doubt and the, um, well, let me see the, 
Well, we'll just carry on to um, breaking all that down into do not taking yourself so seriously. Um, that's a huge one for everyone that has their 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 self image so strong in this reality that they're not um, true to who they really are. They're they're portraying things that you know uh, that just who who they aren't. Um, as far as you know, buying things, purchasing things to feel better about yourself. Um, all outward, um, all outward stimuli, all the things that you want to, you know, kind of even deceptively trick people into believing you are. Um, dropping your baggage, that's also a huge one. When it comes down to holding on to some of those regrets, um, we all have them. We all had, you know, mishaps and mistakes and um, times where we've fallen short on things and, you know, even as far as situations and um, past relationships where people hurt you, those are the things that need to be dropped as baggage. You can't go forward carrying all of the baggage of your life as a collective. Um, forgiving yourself, that is a huge one because that as a part of your heart. You have to be able to forgive yourself first before you can forgive anyone else. You have to live in your heart's uh, chakra, basically, to be able to move forward. And once you forgive yourself uh, for all of the, the mistakes that you've made or even some of the things that you haven't done, you know, or that you might blame yourself for, you definitely need to understand that, you know, it, it's gonna be okay, we're gonna move forward. And um, the next was connecting to now. Um, once you're in a now or present moment, uh, you don't have the time for your mind to wander off and, you know, fight fight yourself or amongst other things um the you know like the idle mind is definitely a um the devil's playground per se and it's 100 percent true um you know you get bored you get stagnant your energy is is halted um the your energy is just completely depleted um, reconnecting to spirit is getting deep within yourself, looking at you as the person you were really meant to be as far as getting into how, how divine you really are, you know, may, whether it be through whatever means as far as uh, religion, um, just spirituality, period. Those things bring you to your heart, to back to the heart, to where your center is, what makes the most sense for you. And we all have different roads to the same divine presence. Um, and living your truth, basically, that's, that's the, 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 the finish line. You, you're going to have, you know, ups and downs in this life, this teaching ground. And as long as you're true to yourself, you do not sway from what and who you are, then you can go forward and you will be fine regardless. And fear is a huge one as far as, you know, blocking some of your truth or the way that you deal with life. And um, we're going to move on to the next here. And that would take you directly into consciously living. These are the practices that help you kind of ground yourself and get to your truth and your base. Um, you know, as far as we have, you know, a demonstration of Qigong, uh, meditation, sound therapy, uh, sensory deprivation, uh, gym and crystal work and even the crystal healing bed, 
Um, these things are what we use to get to a space of understanding. And as far as conscious living goes, love is always the key because, well, it's basically the most important thing in life, basically. Life, well, self-love um, brings you to understanding and the therapies that heal you. Love is a binding force between us all. Love for others um, will heal the planet ultimately. Um, and it heightens our frequencies of being and every facet of life. So once you put love into anything, whether it be cooking, you know, your, uh, your job, anything that is based in love is magnified and you can move mountains with it. Um, love is the you know the the key force and frequency that we all need to live by um, meditation um this is what helps you stay present and channeling and receiving you know universal downloads um calming relaxing um getting to a zero point to where you can receive information from the universe uh it, it's really like profound how, how um, transformative meditation is, um, the visualization that's in within your meditations, the Akashic records you may come across, the, you know, past life experience, um, even meditation in hard or extremely scary times will flatten that out and kill all anxiety and then you become one with yourself in that in that uh duality um sound therapy is extremely important um vibrations that resonate powerfully um such as music and um things that are you know uh audio or acoustic those hold deeper and stronger vibrations that resonate with your body and move all the cells of your body keeps you you know happy it you know can completely change your your um your your attitude your your sense of self at the moment um concerts are you know a huge you know gathering of people listening to the same music, the energy is so strong there. You feel like you're in a euphoric space. It's, it's just really, you know, like it's, it's beautiful. And it's one of the most powerful ways of communication. Um, sound there, um, sorry, sensory <laughs> deprivation is actually the opposite is going back into yourself calming completely your whole body system down to uh and you you still get to the euphoric state it's your mind getting a chance to calm itself completely to a standstill it's your body as well um relaxing allowing the the natural processes to carry on and your body tingles the the um, um, the external stimuli that we're constantly in, whether it be light, sound, um, through our different gates, our eyes, our ears, our mouth, our skin. We, with the sensory deprivation, you feel uh, one basically, and the the means by that is floating in um, magnesium water for an hour or so uh, carrying you into a deep state of meditation basically and once you're out it's a complete transformation as far as your body's weakness and your uh, aches and pains are gone it's a really useful tool as far as um you know the conscious mind um, Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga, these are all works of uh, 
in, well, forms of energy working, uh, moving the body, creating, um, you know, creating energy with throughout your whole body. And our bodies are generators. So basically we get all of the, you know, all of the motion that we need and, you know, the, the ways to move certain energies around our body to keep us alive and healthy, basically. Um, a breath work, the oxygenation, being able to breathe and learning to breathe is very different. Um, you're, you know, you're oxygenating your body, your cells. Um, it, it's really uh, calming. It's really, you know, restful. The high, um, it has a deep impact on your, you know, the your blood and everything else. And it's the practice that we all should get into, like on a daily basis. I definitely try to make time for myself. Um, and then the crystal healing, um, crystals, they each carry their own, you know, specific, uh, properties and, um, and their own polarities and they have, you know, uh, certain strengths for each one. Um, I'm myself carry a lot of crystals and, um, hold on to that and, I give my um, my children as well. I have three, <laughs> and um, that's oh. Now we're moving on into uh, diet. Um, as far as diet goes, uh, we we live and we consume everything, so um, it is uh, of the utmost importance that we consciously uh, try to guard from negative pollutants within our environments um, to keep our vessels light um, and receive positive and you know the most benevolent energies as possible. Um, living consciously is thinking and being present in every moment. So once you're doing that, um, things are going to sound a little different to you. Your the world kind of opens up to you differently. Um, as far as the ear gate, that's um, practices where you should use more benevolent frequencies and things that are going to open up different parts of your body, um, your different chakras, your your different. Um, your different body parts um, create energies for you. Um, affirmations are also very strong. Uh, you have to speak things into existence. Uh, the same thing with your manifestations. Um, hearing certain beats that speak to your body, um, those things all uh, are very, very strong. Um, the eye gate is everything that we see. So basically, um, our eyes are the windows to our soul. Um, what we see opens uh, past memories. It, you know, it can ignite just any thoughts. So you know, make sure that you're guarding that. Um, you could see, you know, go outside and see the sun you know, it's sun, I mean, you know, it's like daytime. So you have a different, you know, attitude, you have a different uh, understanding of what's going on. Um, the same thing with anxiety, if you're constantly taking in negative information, reading negative information, um, those things have a negative impact on your psyche so you have to guard all of your gates as as much as you possibly can um basically to you know be able to live in the um to live in the now number one and to uh 
more so be at peace, you know. Um, the mouth gate is, uh, we are what we eat. Um, what we ingest through the mouth um, fuels the body. So uh, just like, um, like water, those things, those are very important. And people in today's society don't understand or aren't awake to all of the, the um, you know, the things that we're ingesting or taking in. And uh, also with the mouth gate, uh, it's, well, it's basically the closer we get as far as our diet, our actual ingestion of food, um, we, we're natural beings, so we need to be as close to nature. We're electric beings. Um, so we need to take things in that are, uh, that have a electric current, um, you know, fruits with seeds, uh, vegetables, uh, organic as possible. Um, you know, the closest to the vine as you can get is the, the, um, the ideal basically. Um, let's see. And then we have uh, your mind's eye. So focusing on love, growth, and understanding, um, resistance to stagnation, and the thoughts that that exist. Um, we we have to really uh, bear down and keep our mind clear, and you know stay on a positive polarity as far as what we're focusing on. Um, you know, growth is something that we're gonna do until we're gone and um, understanding. Gaining understanding is, is very important. Um, that's how we relate to the world. That's how we relate to other people. Um, if you have no understanding, then, you know, you're stuck in the world lost basically and there's a lot of individuals out here that are um and to resist the stagnation do not allow yourself to you know sit in one place for too long to do anything to do the same thing over and over again and um also as far as the the um limiting your negative thoughts you know uh certain thought patterns uh, and also the things that come with the stagnation uh, become more negative because just of the polarity of those thoughts. Um, you get sicker, you get more anxiety, you know, you don't get the, the real human experience that you're entitled to. Um, so let's see. So as far as moving on, we're going to bod uh, bodily detoxing. Um, there's more than one way of detoxing. Detoxing is, you know, getting rid of everything that is um, of the negative polarity. So that where there that be bad relationships, bad people, um, jobs, situations, things like that. It's it's time to know when you know when you need to move on with your life. Um, let's see, high quality water, which was spoken about already um, in the earlier presentation, but water is very um, important. It's extremely important actually, um, you know, as far as cleansing your kidneys, your, your, um, your body, your adrenals, everything in your body is basically water. So um, even connecting back with water, uh, you know, sitting in water, the, the current, the, the strength of water is amazing. So as you're, you know, as you're trying to detox your body, um, it's very important that you uh, take in a lot of solid, you know, real water. The Kangen water, uh, ionized water is great. 
um, fresh spring water, the fresher, closest to nature that you can get. And then um, structured water also. So, you know, giving it a blessing, so on and so forth will help structure your water. And uh, let's see, uh, activated charcoal. Um, the, this is one of the granddaddies of, uh, you know, cleansing. They've been using it for forever in the medical field as far as, uh, you know, you have, you know, done too much to your system. And then that's the one that comes and cleans and sweeps everything out. Uh, chlorophyll is a blood builder. It's awesome. It's the, you know, blood of the plants really. So you're getting close to, uh, you know, to, to nature once again with plant life. Um, and it's a detoxer. It helps with, uh, you know, bodily smells, uh, cleansed intestine, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, zeolite, it binds with the heavy metals that, you know, uh, block, you know, neural pass, uh, pathage ways. And, um, and some of the other just free radicals that are floating around in your body. Uh, fasting also is a, a huge one for me. Um, I try to fast at least quarterly per year. Um, and it gives the body a chance to recover. It gives the body a chance to get back to homeostasis um, from like the, the daily digestion uh, process. Uh, definitely try not to eat three times a day. That is complete garbage. <laughs> um, uh, as well as it balances, you know, the, the blood, et cetera. I've had tests right after fast and all of my labs have come back like dramatically, you know, better. Um, the sauna is, you know, if you have one at your disposal, please try to get to it. Um, as far as, you know, it helps cleanse the, the skin and the blood. Um, you know, just get in a good sweat and, you know, like our, our regular natural doctors, the sun and exercise and, you know, um, ingestion of water and whatnot. Those are the things that we need uh, to keep our body going. Okay, and then let's see, uh, here are a few supplements, uh, milk thistle as far as your liver, uh, dandelion greens, these are all things that help clean up the, the system. Uh, the minerals, fulvic minerals, magnesium, zinc, selenium, potassium, please give those a try. Let's see here. And then onward and upward as far as uh, the time for ascension. So uh, lead with your heart and not with your mind. Your mind will uh, throw you off. Your heart is always you know, truth, that's where we're at. So, um, and this is the, the basic chart for the ascension process, you know, uh, where, you're, where you're opening up your heart center. Everything is love-based. So this is the, um, this is the basic chart to just give a quick glance over um you know mentally physically you'll be heading on into the fourth and fifth density and let's see here and there we go at this point you become an eternal you're almost you know you're you're a superhero at this point you can't be touched you're unfazed and nothing from this world is going to bother you um, you have everything at your disposal that you need. We're all on our own basic life path and life purpose, and we're coming together and our, you know, our consciousness is rising at this time and the world needs it at right now. So everyone get ready for it. Um, and uh, thank you, Starbloom family. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Uh, please carry on all your, your, your great work. Um, all the other presenters, I love you all. 
uh, thank you. And you can catch me at uh, Instagram, uh, the red quill pill. I mean, the red pill quill, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a great one. Have a happy solstice and happy holidays. All right.